Landing a massive helicopter on a moving aircraft carrier in the face of high winds and waves is an awe-inspiring feat that requires steel nerves and extraordinary skill. The aircraft carrier's constantly shifting decks and limited runways make it a high-stakes gamble for pilots. In this video, we will explore the intricacies of landing these colossal helicopters and aircraft on U.S. Navy ships, revealing the challenges faced by pilots and the crew's coordinated efforts to ensure safe landings. From the intense maneuvers of fighter jets to the awe-inspiring vertical landings of advanced aircraft, this is a gripping tale of precision, expertise, and the relentless pursuit of excellence in military aviation. So, let us begin. Picture a jet soaring through the turbulent skies, attempting to find its way to the narrow runway on a pitching and rolling deck. Pilots skillfully adjust the aircraft's speed, altitude, and angle of attack to match the movement of the carrier. Their precision is essential as even the slightest miscalculation can spell disaster. To guide the pilots, the air boss communicates with them using a combination of visual cues and advanced technology, offering a lifeline of guidance in this adrenaline-pumping endeavor. Onboard the carrier from crew members to ground personnel plays a vital role in safely bringing the jet to a sudden halt using resting cables. The V-22 Osprey, a truly remarkable aircraft, represents a significant advancement in aviation technology. Its unique tilt-rotor design allows it to take off, land vertically like a helicopter, and fly like a conventional plane. This versatility makes it an invaluable asset to the U.S. Navy regarding operations on aircraft carriers. One of the primary advantages of the V-22 Osprey is its ability to operate from a relatively small area, such as the deck of an aircraft carrier. Unlike traditional helicopters that require a large landing area, the V-22 can use the limited space available. This capability enhances the flexibility and operational reach of carrier-based operations. In 2016, sailors and marines aboard the USS Carl Vinson conducted training exercises to demonstrate the safe descent and landing of an MV-22 Osprey on the carrier's flight deck. These exercises highlight the planning and extensive training that pilots undergo to execute these demanding tasks. However, the V-22 size and unique design also present challenges during landing operations on aircraft carriers. With an impressive wingspan of 84 feet and a maximum takeoff weight exceeding 60,000 pounds, the V-22 is larger and heavier than most helicopters typically seen on carriers. This size difference necessitates careful consideration and adaptation during landing procedures. Furthermore, the V-22's tilting rotors, which allow it to transition between vertical and horizontal flight, can complicate matters during landings. The rotation of the rotors creates turbulent airflow, making it more challenging for pilots to maintain precise control during the approach and landing phases. The Helicopter Landing Qualification, or HLQ, program plays a crucial role in assessing and refining their ability to land safely on a vessel. Pilots learn the intricacies of approaching the landing dock, handling the aircraft on the deck, and maintaining effective communication with the ship's crew. The HLQ program ensures that pilots are thoroughly prepared and equipped to handle the complexities of V-22 landings on aircraft carriers. Despite the challenges, the V-22 Osprey continues to prove its worth as a reliable and adaptable asset for carrier-based operations. Its unique capabilities enable the U.S. Navy to deploy versatile aircraft that can operate in various environments and support a wide range of mission requirements. Not only aircraft carriers have the ability to accommodate planes and helicopter landings at sea. Amphibious transport docks, or LPDs, though different in primary function, provide a deck area large enough for landing and launching helicopters and other vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. These vessels also possess a good deck that can be flooded to launch amphibious vehicles. While LPDs lack the long runway and catapults of aircraft carriers, they serve a crucial role in supporting military operations. Among the aircraft capable of vertical landings on U.S. aircraft carriers, the F-35B Lightning II stands out as a remarkable technological marvel. This advanced stealth aircraft combines traditional takeoff capabilities with the unique ability to land vertically, thanks to its innovative vector thrust system. 
During the landing process, the F-35B pilot utilizes the aircraft's advanced sensors and avionics to precisely position the aircraft for a vertical descent. The pilot carefully adjusts the throttle and control surfaces to maintain a controlled descent rate. The vector thrust system, located at the rear of the aircraft, directs the engine's power downward to counteract gravity and provide the necessary lift for a vertical landing. As the F-35B approaches the deck, the pilot relies on visual cues and communication with the flight crew to ensure a safe and accurate landing. The flight crew, stationed on the deck, plays a crucial role in guiding the pilot and providing necessary instructions for a successful landing. They use a combination of hand signals, light signals, and radio communication to assist the pilot in aligning the aircraft with the designated landing spot. Once the F-35B touches down on the deck, the pilot must follow the flight crew's directions closely. The flight crew directs the pilot to park the aircraft in a designated spot and secure it on the deck. This involves engaging the aircraft's brakes and deploying appropriate securing mechanisms to ensure its stability during the ship's movement. After the aircraft is parked and secured, the pilot and crew go through post-flight procedures, including shutting down the engine, completing necessary checklists, and ensuring the aircraft is ready for the next mission. Meanwhile, the deck crew stands ready to refuel the aircraft, perform any required maintenance, and prepare it for future operations. It is worth noting that the F-35B Lightning II's vertical landing capability significantly enhances its operational flexibility. It allows the aircraft to operate from various locations, including confined spaces such as small, austere airstrips and amphibious assault ships. This versatility makes the F-35B a vital asset for expeditionary operations and increases agility in responding to dynamic combat situations. Aircraft carriers have significantly shorter runways compared to land-based airports, necessitating the use of catapults for launching military jets like the F-A-18 Hornet. The pilot taxis onto the catapult shuttle, secures themselves in the cockpit, and signals readiness for launch. With full engine power engaged, the aircraft catapults forward, propelling it from 0 to 150 miles per hour in a matter of seconds. Conversely, upon landing, if a pilot chooses to land conventionally, they come to a sudden stop thanks to the arresting cables. These high-strength steel cables must be properly tensioned and calibrated to ensure effective and safe landings. Improper tension or positioning of the cables can result in failure, rendering them ineffective and posing a severe safety risk to personnel on deck. The Airboss oversees and coordinates plane movements from the control tower at the heart of the carrier's operations. Communication between pilots and the Airboss is crucial to receive mission orders and ensuring the aircraft is ready for flight. The Airboss plays a pivotal role in granting clearance for takeoff and landing, ensuring the safety of all aircrafts and personnel on deck. They have a bird's eye view of the bustling deck below from their elevated position. Additionally, operators in a special bubble below the deck provide ground level observation of planes, contributing to a comprehensive situational awareness. The engine room holds another essential element of aircraft landing, the arresting gear. Utilizing cables and hydraulic equipment, this intricate system slows down and stops landing aircraft. The arresting cables, made of high-strength steel, must be precisely tensioned and calibrated to withstand the tremendous force generated by the landing aircraft. Failure or breakage of these cables not only renders them ineffective, but also poses a severe safety risk to personnel on deck. Consequently, meticulous attention to tensioning and calibration is imperative. Landing massive helicopters on U.S. aircraft carriers is an incredibly complex task that requires exceptional skill, extensive training, and seamless coordination among pilots, crew members, and ground personnel. The challenges posed by the moving deck, limited runways, and unique designs of these aircrafts demand unwavering precision and unwavering focus. Yet, thanks to the dedication and expertise of the individuals involved, successful landings occur repeatedly, showcasing the remarkable capabilities of both man and machine. Like and subscribe, press the bell icon for more amazing videos like this, and comment down below for what you want us to cover next. That would be all for this video, but have you ever wondered how they land the aircrafts at night? How are the pilots able to navigate without all the visual cues? To find out, click on this video right here.
Click this video to find out about the adventurous landings of an aircraft at night. Click it now.